Hello everyone, this is Professor Ng Chi Kum from Unimas. In this video, I'm going to give you the tutorial solutions for tutorial 1. Eh? So now let us look at question 1. Figure 1 shows the construction of a large reinforced concrete beam. The beam is 10 meters in length, 2400mm wide and 1400mm deep. It is reinforced with 12H16 bars at the top, 23H32 bars at the bottom, and has 16mm stirrups at 150mm centers near the ends and at 200mm centers for the middle 5 meters. Nominal concrete cover for the reinforcement is 50mm on all faces. The characteristic strengths are FYK equals to 500 Newton per square millimeter for the reinforcement and FCK is equals to 35 Newton per square millimeter for the concrete. Calculate the maximum moment capacity for the middle of this beam under sagging condition by neglecting the steel reinforcement in compression. So here we have a beam with 12 numbers of 16mm bars on the top of the beam and 23 numbers of H32 bars at the bottom. So to solve for this question, first we need to draw the strain and stress distribution for the cross section as shown in the illustration here and put down all the symbols of the components in the illustrations. So in Strain diagram, we have Epsilon Cu equals to 0 0.0035 for the concrete, Epsilon S for the steel, and then in this question, we are asked to ignore the compression steel. So in my drawing of the section, I don't include the compression steel. We have only the tension steel of 23H32. So we were given C nominal of 50 mm, link diameter of 16 mm, and bar diameter of 32 mm. Therefore, for single layer of tension reinforcement, the effective depth H is H minus C norm minus diameter of link minus half diameter of the main bar. So we get 1318 mm. For the provided steel of 23H32, the total cross-sectional area is 18,492 square millimeter. So for force equilibrium, the total concrete compression is equal to the steel tension. So the only unknown here is X in this equation. So we substitute all the known values for FCK the width of the section B and also AS. So in this case, we get the neutral axis depth X is equal to 211 mm. After that, we calculate the X over D value, which gives us 0 0.16. So it's smaller than 0 0.45. So the neutral axis depth is okay is not more than 0.45 D. After that, we can calculate the moment of resistance using the concrete compression multiplied by the moment arm Z, which is D minus 0.4 X. After that, we substitute all the known values into this equation here with FCK equals to 35, B is equal to 2400 mm, X is equal to 211 mm, D is 1318 mm, and another 0.4 X, where X is 211 mm. So we get 9918 times 10 to the power 6 Newton millimeter. So to convert that to kilonewton meter is 9918 kilonewton meter. Alternatively, we can calculate the moment of resistance using the steel tension. So in this case, we use the tension force in the reinforcing steel multiplied by the moment arm. 
So in this equation here, we substitute all the known values for FYK, AS, D, and X. And we get 9,923 times 10 to the power of 6 Newton millimeter. So we convert to kilonewton meter is 9,923 kilonewton meter. So there is a slight difference between the two values calculated based on concrete compression and steel tension. Eh? This is due to the decimal error in our calculation. Eh? If we use enough decimal points, then the two MRD value or moment of resistance values will be the same. So this is an example where you don't do design, but you check on the strength of the section eh, where the section has already been designed and constructed and you as an engineer you are asked to find out what is the strength of the existing structural element so this is the way that we calculate the strength with respect to bending in the existing structural element the next question that we look at is question 2. A simply supported reinforced concrete beam with a maximum ultimate moment MED max is equals to 375 Nm is to be designed. The beam size has yet to be determined. So you don't know what is the beam size that you are going to use. Huh? But it is estimated to be a singly reinforced section with reinforcement ratio of 1%. That is, as required over BD is equals to 0 0.01 and the aspect ratio of the beam D over B is about 2.6. The characteristic strengths are FYK equals to 500 Newton per square millimeter for the reinforcement and FCK equals to 30 Newton per square millimeter for the concrete. Determine the minimum dimension of the beam and design a reasonable section of the beam. Assume that the nominal concrete cover is 50 mm to all faces of reinforcement. Link diameter of 8 mm and main reinforcement diameter of 25 mm. Design the main reinforcement of the beam after the dimension has been determined. So to start solving the question, Okay, we need to use the basic theory provided in Eurocode 2, section 3.1.7 in bracket 3 that gives us the cross section, the strain distribution and the stress distribution. So this diagram is very important in reinforced concrete design. So we don't know the cross section, so B and D are not known yet in this question. We know that the maximum deformation of the concrete epsilon Cu is 0 0.0035 and then the strain in the steel is also unknown and then for stress distribution maximum stress in concrete is 0 0.567 fck and then the tension in the steel is 0 0.87 fyk as and these two forces are separated by the moment arm Z, which is D minus 0.4 X. We are given the moment of resistance as 375 kN meter. And also we were given the ratio of S required to be D of 0.01 or 1%. And the aspect ratio is also given as D over B equals to 2.6. So from equation 1, we can rewrite it as AS required equals to 0.01 BD. From equation 2, we can also rewrite it to become 2.6 B is equals to D. Yeah? So that gives us equation 4. Now substitute equation 4 into equation 3. We get as required equals to 0.026 b square so we set that as equation 5 and then from force equilibrium we have compression in concrete is equals to tension in steel that is equation 6 
Now we substitute equation 5 into equation 6. Then we get B is equals to 1.203x. So that is equation number 7. And then in the question, we were given that the moment of resistance due to load effect is 375 kN meter. So we set the moment of resistance to be equal to the moment due to load effects. And then the moment of resistance MRD is equal to the compression in the concrete multiplied by the moment arm Z. Eh? That is equation number 8. By setting the moment of resistance MRD to the moment due to load effects MED and substitute equation 4 into equation 8, we get equation 9, eh? which is in terms of B and X. We substitute equation 7 into equation 9, then we can solve for X which gives us the solution of 198 mm. So with that, the width of the section B is 223 mm and the effective depth D is 619 mm. With length diameter of 8 mm, diameter of main bar of 25 mm and C nominal of 50 mm, which is the nominal concrete cover. And then we assume that we have single layer of reinforcement. Then the height of the beam will become effective depth plus half diameter of the main bar plus diameter of link plus the nominal cover. That gives us 702 mm. After that, we round the numbers of B and H uh, to the nearest 25 mm so b from the calculation required is 228 mm and then h required is 702 mm so we can design a cross section of 250 mm by 700 mm for this particular beam so for the design Please carry out the design with the MED given as 375 kN and calculate the required steel reinforcement as well as the provided steel reinforcement as your own exercise. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening.